Well, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode. I want to thank our fearless leader, Orange JJ, for the new banner, uh, which, uh, as you'll see, my last one was way out of date. Our min requirement was like 2,600, and I had on there 12 from when we were building up. So, yeah, still rocking the same deck. Uh, I, I have been playing around with uh, Chief Pat's latest deck, and I I can make it win sometimes, but not all the time. Um, so, yep, yeah, save on this. To open up on screen. Ooh, yeah, that's solid. That's solid. Only three cards. So I'm going to get a lot of a little. Yeah, I, I like the card, but I don't like it. Barbs. You know, I had a feeling I was going to get barbs. It's been putting me right at that edge uh, for a long time. So I uh, got some more gems. I've been just opening uh, my chests. And I think it was uh, Phone Cats or Ben Tim that uh, it was somebody, because it might have been Nick at night too, that since they raised the cap on commons and rares, they devalued epics. So I believe super magical chests are not as good as giant chests. Just because you're going to get your core cards. And especially since I'm not, like, all of the decks I'm playing are not using epics. Using legendaries. And yeah, I could try and chase that. But um, I mean, all of the possible decks that I've been playing with are all epicless. So I'm going to open up some uh, giant chests. See how we do. First one up, 1700 gold. That sucks. Gold is uh, very valuable. I, I think I've bought 200k for legendaries. Skull, cool. fire spirits. I could use some of those. Barbies. 31 bomb towers. So, uh, it's interesting. So I've opened up two giant chests and haven't got an epic. I swear it was like 80%. It's kind of a success rate of getting an epic. So we got three, so no epic again. 1700. I was wrong. Got a little epic in there. Mini pack. Again, a card I really love. The Iron Spirits. Solid. I'm using those. So what is it? Oh, so the fact that I got 2k is actually um, above average. Uh, if you didn't know, the average uh, gold you're going to get is about 1,800. Uh, just adding the bottom and the top and dividing by two. So anything over 1,800, well, 1,824 is above average. That is thoroughly below average. That might actually be the bottom. Musketeer, also a good card. Knight, not so good, but the knight is good. He just doesn't have a place. 18, oh, almost average. Baby Dragon, solid card. Uh, not a great rare. Tesla. Sixteen, low gold. Ooh. Elixir. And cannon. It's not bad. I think I'm going to stop there to save some for some more gold, because Lord knows I'm going to need some gold. I'm going to spend money. So I, I want to ask you a question. Uh, for the shop, like I, I use the Royal Giant. He's going to get nerfed at some point. Um, do you buy them all? And then if you do, do you donate them? I mean, when they're costing uh, 200 gold a piece, and then you're going to donate it for 5 gold later, uh, seems kind of counterproductive. So I don't, I don't know. I'm always at a crossroads for that. So let's jump into it. I probably should have leveled up my uh, fire spirits. Oh God, I have no idea what deck I'm playing after I was scrolling. Oh, so it's the current Chief Pat deck. Don't want to be the first one to play. Get some Barbies going. 
Hit her. Hit her in the eye. Get ready for the possible minion horde. Want to drop the elixir collector, but uh, you gotta wait for the right time. So with this deck, I, I don't know, maybe it's my playstyle. Maybe I'm not aggressive enough. I'm always trying to build up my spawners. So, I, I failed to get to the tower. Ooh, good fire spirits. So it looks like he's running Chief Pat's old deck. It's the same one that I prefer to run. gonna do work we'll, we'll hut up good distraction get some damage on her have to take her out and then we're gonna pump just keep building I think double elixir is where this deck really shines And then, good Belk there. Gotta get her, gotta get her. And let them through, let the hordes through. Oh, see, that's the problem with Fire Spirits. Deployment is, is critical. If you get a bad deployment, so I should be able to drop a Royal Giant and win. Really should be nothing he can do to stop this. Let's go with the disrespect. Give him a good game. Well played. So this morning, man. Oh, I gotta, I gotta show you a replay. That was. I was just failing so hard against Sparky and I swear if you would have asked me bef uh, before this morning I would have said I have a winning record against it um, but I went like three in a row let's see did I play that much good load let's see where are we at two hours nine hours uh, defeat against Sparky. Defeat against Sparky. Def victory against Sparky. Defeat against Sparky. Uh, so I, I I don't know what it was. Let's see which one do we want to hear. We'll watch the one that I lost 40 on. My God. We'll do a double time so you're not. So this doesn't run super long. So you never know what you're at. I, I did have some pretty awful draws. I think this is one of the reasons Pat went with a different deck was because of the weird starts. So I kind of gave up on that push. Um, did not see that. But uh, just... And this guy's a level 8, I'm a level 10. I mean, he had level 4 epics. So it wasn't like he was doing um, anything super crazy. Level six rares, you know, he wasn't one of those people that have only leveled up eight cards. Which, by the way, uh, I, I don't think. Uh, see, that was a fail on my part. But I don't think there's any. You really gain any value by trying to be a uh, cool guy or whatever and not level up your cards. Just bring yourself at a disadvantage. So looking back now, I can see that I just misplayed. See, it was so hard. Like I wanted to minion my go-to, uh, but he always had the had something just to back it up. 
Uh, it was and I'm with Phone Cats on that. Always be kind. There's there's nothing you're gonna gain from laughing at somebody. Um, so thanks for watching. Tune in for more to come. Uh, you think they're gonna? What kind of a nerf do you think they'll do? I heard people asking for uh, a reduction to 6.5 for the Royal Giant, which honestly I don't think will do any good. Uh, and maybe it's just me thinking of that most of the defenses have a 5 range, or I mean a, a 6 range. So as long as he's out of range from the defenses, I think he's going to feel super overpowered. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.